My husband is a zombie. This seemingly completely unbelievable story about a zombie husband took place in the 60s of the 20th century in an American family. Alicia and Jack were a completely ordinary couple and lived for two years in a happy marriage. Once Alicia began to notice oddities in her husband's behavior, but did not attach any importance to this. Jack complained of a headache and minor hallucinations. From time to time he became aggressive for no reason. Once he just attacked her with a strange growl trying to hit, Jack was not drunk and they were not in a quarrel. Alicia broke free and locked herself in the room. The zombie husband suddenly stopped aggressive actions. But after the police arrived, he attacked the cops. Jack was arrested and taken to the police station. A day later, he died of unexplained causes, as stated in the report of the pathologist. Why doesn't the zombie husband story seem like fiction? Take Kluver Busey syndrome. According to Peter Cummings, a neuropathologist at Boston University and an advisor to the Zombie Research Society, if one took a look at someone afflicted with this disease, it might make you think the zombie apocalypse is near. That has a whole bunch of weird stuff, Cummings said of the syndrome. There's hyperorality, the desire to put inappropriate objects in your mouth, the inability to recognize objects, distractibility, and dementia. Zombies in their catatonic state, they can become quite violent. As well, they had shuffling gaits and even motor defects. There's another disease called encephalitis lethargica, an extremely rare condition. Dr. Cummings said that there was an outbreak connected with the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918. People who suffered from this began to hallucinate, entered a stupor and became catatonic. But, if they were stimulated with something as benign as a tap on the shoulder, they went berserk. Such a state is very similar to the story of the zombie husband. In the case of encephalitis lethargica, it sounds like the rage virus in 28 days later. The problem lies with the part of the brain that is responsible for survival instincts, emotions, and memory. There are real things out there that affect the brain to alter behavior where you do socially unacceptable things.